Since the dawn of mankind, humans have evolved to develop the mightiest mechanical monsters ever seen on the face of the earth. The car, the plane, the ship, these are all the fruits of human labor. Finally, although the mechanical beasts of the world have made our lives easier, none are as mighty as a roller coaster. The development of the roller coaster through the years has evolved and produced the large, vast, and intricate machines that so many use to enjoy themselves. Now, let us drop into the history of the roller coasters. One of the predecessors of modern roller coaster existed in 15th century Europe. On the wintry days of early Russian villages, sleds made of chopped lumber and tree trunks or ice blocks were used to slide down man-made ice-covered hills. Later, in 1804, the concept of roller coasters made it to France. However, it was too hot to keep ice in solid form. To fix this problem, they decided to use wax on their slides and had wheels fitted to their sleds. Then, in July 1817, a French banker named Nicolas Bonjon opened the Parc Bonjon, an amusement park in the Champs Islas. He had took the original Russian mountain design and improved upon it by adding locking wheels, continuous tracks, and later cables that can pull the carts up the hill. Although work has done to ensure the functionality of the rides, little work has done to address safety concerns. There was also the issue of who could ride the actual roller coaster. Roller coasters were initially designed for upper classes. It wasn't until 1845 that a new amusement park for middle class people was opened in Johagen, Tuvalu. Soon, news traveled to the United States, and one of the first roller coasters built was Coney Island's Switchback Railway in 1884. John Miller introduced the under friction roller coaster that enabled coaster carts to remain locked onto the track and even run at high speeds as well as stop and even turn upside down. This innovation of the roller coaster sparked a new way of enjoyment. This popularity in roller coasters would come to an end with the Great Depression and World War II. Some roller coasters still managed to be built. The first tubular steel roller coaster, known as Matterhorn Bobsled, at Disneyland was introduced in 1959. The racer at Kings Island became the fastest and tallest roller coaster of 1972. The Corkscrew Ride at Knott's Berry Farm in 1975 became the first roller coaster to incorporate inversions. The revolution at Six Flags Magic Mountain would become the first modern roller coaster to feature a vertical loop. The elliptical loop would then make its introduction into the roller coaster world and would lessen the amount of force experienced by the riders. Injuries lessen and safety procedures are restricted more than ever. The International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions states the chances of being injured on a roller coaster are now at 1 in 24 million and chances of being killed are 1 in 750 million. Designers are looking outside the box and even incorporating virtual reality to the experience. With this increasing knowledge humans have acquired, the creative and innovative minds of engineers have gone close to the idea of what it means to have a thrilling experience. <laughs>